What's going on everyone? It's been a long time since I've actually posted on this channel. I've been going through some things. But I figured I'd get back into trying to make a video game. Now when I first started this project, I wanted to make something that didn't really see a whole lot of on the quest, which was driving games. Kind of sucks now that uh, Downtown Club has come out. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, but all in all, my game that I'm planning on making is going to be a little bit different from that because I'm mostly focused on the aspect of driving. See, I like to drive in video games, just go for a drive. When I was a teenager, I used to just get in my car and drive. That's all I did. And now, nothing has changed. Uh, Coincidentally, my favorite game on PC right now is BeamMG because I could just get in, choose a map, choose a car, drive, drive as hard as I want, and try not to crash, which is a topic for another video because I think a lot of people go into that game trying to crash, but not so much me. I like to not crash. I want to completely set a challenge and own it well this is a big challenge this game right here is a huge challenge and the reason it's a huge challenge because I've tried this is my third iteration of trying this I tried a police simulator the second time uh, back then I all I had was like a regular laptop so making that game was kind of a headache uh, and before that was another time when I didn't have the pre-made tools. I was just making it all from scratch. It worked. Just a lot more bug tweaking that I had to do in that game. In this game, however, not so much because I'm using Eddie's vehicle script. Uh... VR interaction framework is I believe it's called and as far as the interior car sounds it's realistic engines uh, sounds light because I don't have $250 to spend on the full version and besides it's gonna be a free game <laughs> if I ever release it you know fully release it it's gonna be a free game so this is the test scene that you get with Eddie's vehicle script uh, the standard gloves you get with the VR interaction framework toolkit and then the engine sounds that's where I really wanted to shine I still gotta do some more sound work in fact I still gotta do a lot of work in this game uh, the sound work still needs work uh, I do have a working um, speed gauge in here in all the cars actually and I can set it to kilometers per hour. I do have that built in, although I haven't actually implemented the, the actual trigger in the switch for the menu because I plan on throwing it in here somewhere or maybe, maybe even on here, uh, turn, close that, maybe even on here. Well, right now all I have is a sheet, seat controls because I could go up, go down, you know, That's all I got in the game so far. Well, not all of it. You can see I got music and music controls here. See, I could play any track I want. That, <laughs> we're gonna get back to that in a second. But yeah. Added a full infotainment system, spawner control, and a whole main menu. Because this isn't the main menu. This is just in-game. I got a whole main menu. And I have five cars selected in the main menu. Well, five cars created in the main menu. One of them, the first one, I'm going to get rid of. Uh, the E30 is just not working for me right now. As far as steering controls. And I didn't want to go back and try to do a whole bunch of work. And the E30 is cool. Because it was the first vehicle I actually set up. But 
nah, I'm, I'm going to get rid of that car. Then there's the Crown Vic, obviously. The... I want to say it's a 5 Series BMW. It looks like a 5 Series BMW. Um, I have set up. All of them have infotainment systems, except for the E30. All of them have infotainment systems. Um, the supercar and a Jeep. Now, I like the Jeep more. And let's go ahead and start driving it. I'm really starting to like the Jeep. I'm really starting to like off-road vehicles a lot. Because if I ever actually film myself playing, uh, why am I looking both ways? If I actually film myself, that's a bug I need to fix. If I actually film myself playing uh, BMG, you guys would know that the Stambeco is by far my favorite vehicle. You know, what? I'm just gonna raise my seat up. Because I don't feel like lifting up all that high. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Okay. But I don't. I really like the Stambeco. That is probably my favorite vehicle out of all of the vehicles on a BMG because I just like taking it off road. And I've taken that truck to all the different off road maps. And to be honest with you, this lifted up Jeep, and believe me, it is massive. This lifted up Jeep handled everything. I can't wait to start the actual main environment, the main game world that I'm planning on creating. It's because I plan on throwing in some trails for this thing, just for this thing alone. And if I have to make my own models, which another thing I'm going to get more into later on, uh, then I'm going to have to make some off-road vehicles as well because I'm loving this thing. It's kind of crazy because I created it. And as we go around, let's go ahead and start this music up. Uh, but yeah, I can think of, yeah, I can cycle through the songs. If you notice, I have other tracks up here as well. These will stay in because one, I bought that one. Let me go ahead and start that one. I bought this one. This whole track, this whole list of songs that's all under here in this album, I bought that on Unity so I could use that. And then this is my own music I've created. I think I created this like a year ago, two years ago, maybe. But all these are also my own music. So those will stay in the game along with more music that I decide to add later. Let me stop talking. Let me start driving. Sorry, I went on a tangent there. But let's go back to a better artist. Well, better beat maker than myself. But yeah. I really like what I've done so far. It's been a lot of work. It's a lot of little stuff that I've had to do. Like it, getting this to work, the whole infotainment system to work, that was two days of work. Of just coding and bug fixes. It was just two days of work. Uh, it was actually a lot faster for me to get a functioning working car in a speedometer and a main menu and a main menu selection. And just to set up the main menu and the main menu selection, it was a lot less work than trying to get this thing to play music to a somewhat decent rate. Oh my god, it was it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. But yeah. Where am I taking this in the future? Well, to be honest with you building the main environment because I don't want to drive in this environment forever but I used it as a test scene it was already here so why not building the main environment trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the cars with the car situation because honestly let me know 
it, what you guys think. There's a game called Automation. I do have a copy of it. Automation Car Tycoon. You can take the models out of that and edit the models in Blender as well as upload or just send cars straight to BMMG. And I do have both games. But seeing how the models can be modeled, can be edited in Blender as well or any other software making, uh, 3D making software. Um, I've really been trying to do a lot of research on whether or not I can use the bases of those models and just edit them in Blender to use in the game. That way I could just create completely original cars because although these cars don't have the names of their original uh, live action comic part these cars are pretty much still licensed and yes I am making a free game oh, sorry the music changed on me unexpectedly I don't think that was a bug. I think that was at the end of that last track. But when it comes to using those cars, I wanted to know if I can just make my own original cars rather than using licensed vehicles. Because I do plan on adding back in a da some damage physics to add in some vehicle destruction as well and I know <laughs> car manufacturers would not be very happy about their cars being absolutely waffle stomped on a <laughs> on a racial release so I I'm leaning a lot towards making my own cars using automation because I think it'd be a lot faster the name of the game is speed here so you guys tell me what you think and uh, I don't know. Watch me spin out in this supercar. Thanks for coming on the journey. See you guys in the next video when I update it. Go hit that trail again, that was nice.